welcome to Vlogmas Week 2. You weren't very committed to it. No, because I wasn't 100% sure what we were saying. Oh. Welcome to Vlogmas Week 2. Here we are on Sunday, ready for the week. David's got my advent calendar present. Go on, show that everybody you decorated it. You put a twee on it. It's very cute. So here Merry we are. Christmas. Ooh, ooh, what's in here? Um, so welcome to Vlogmas Week 2. Um, this week, more choir today. More choir. We're performing in a we're performing at a Christmas market today. The weather maybe looks as though it's going to hold out, doesn't I it? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, I don't mind it being cold, but oh, no one wants to either, first of all, stand in the rain and watch people sing no, not. Or sing in the rain. Sing, sing in, in the, the rain, rain. But, but we're singing in the rain. Um, we've had a very lazy morning. We had a very lazy night, a uh, very late night, didn't we? I know, I think we was in bed at... No, we were in bed. God, oh, I stayed up reading until gone midnight. Yeah, you were on your phone listening to the top, uh, the number oh, ones of the 1990s till yeah, gone midnight. That, that was good. And then Dappy had us up at half past six because she puked literally so everywhere much. in the um, luckily in the, in the bathroom. bathroom. I could hear her cleaning up for ages, and I thought, what on earth is she cleaning up? She was just. It was almost like a horror movie in there, wasn't it? And then she'd just been sick everywhere, so we cleaned that up. And uh, then went back to sleep, and I stayed awake for a little bit, and then managed to go back to sleep. So we've been snoozing all morning, but shortly we're going to get up and get ready for yeah. the concert. The rest of the week, David, what's playing out? We've got a few cinema trips. Oh yeah, I'm going to do. You might come with me to know how you get on, but I'm going to do. I'm doing a double cinema trip tomorrow. Nice. What are you going to see? So one of the movies is Past Lives, and then I've got a few options. There's the Hunger Games. Um, movie there's napoleon and they're also my local cin our local cinema is doing a mystery screening oh so i might be tempted with that we're gonna go and see three films no is oh. in no no so i'm definitely watching past lives because yeah. i've heard it's amazing amazing and um and then so the other three is one of the other options and then i'm going to i've got a bit of all about the archers recording to do this week. I'm nice. uh, recording and interviewing the actor who plays Emma tomorrow, which is exciting. And we've got the all about the archers normal episode on Tuesday. Yeah, we haven't got choir anymore. Choir, we haven't no choir until January. Well, Wednesday, so... I've got my work. It's not a boozy thing, but we've got our, our Christmas dinner lunch on oh, Wednesday, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to the cinema on Thursday night by myself to watch the National Theatre production of Book of Dust, which I have been gagging to see. I didn't know it even happened at the National Theatre and then um, I saw that it had, it had been in a few cinemas and was like I've missed that I'm never going to see that again and it's back at our local cinema so I'm so excited to nice. watch that. I'm going to get myself a little um, pizza for that. Uh, and then we're at my choir friend, as if choir could finish, we're going to our choir friend's house for dinner on Friday and then on Saturday I'm doing a zip line. Oh, you're doing your zip line, aren't you, with our friend Ryan? So that's the week. I'm so excited to so, watch it. So yeah, a bit more of a, a bit more of a vlog this week rather than uh, than than last week, which was just one day. However, it was a lovely day, yeah. wasn't it? So that's. Are the you plan. gonna vlog yourself coming down that zip line? No, it's very much on you to vlog me coming down the yeah, zip line. No. Right, but let's open this little prezi. That's quite a full that's, week, isn't I it? I know. Well, I'm in work quite a lot that and week. And we need as well. to um, we need to also put the. Advent calendar on ah. the shoulder, on the thing. <gasps> Kip and mix oat chocolate, nice. buttons and caramel peanuts with pretzels and cranberry. We're opening them now. I've seen this um, oat milk. Yeah, I just thought oat milk chocolate. I, I've never really seen oat milk chocolate before. We're about to try it live. And I know you, she, Lauren has oat milk chocolate. Oh, this is. I have oat peanut. milk, not oat milk chocolate. Oh, it's got pretzels in it and stuff. Oh, nice. So, I mean, you. I want you to try a bit of chocolate. See what it's like. Oh, I thought that was chocolate. It was. It was some sort of biscuit. I think it was a pretzel, wasn't it? Let's try cranberry. Very nice. Don't nice. try chocolate now. Yeah. Nice. Do you want chocolate? I'd like to try a bit of chocolate, please. I'm afraid. It's all wrappers, Bob. Oh, I, don't, I don't want pretzel. I know. No, I'm trying to get it. Like. I'm trying to get some. Here we go. I'll try Here one of these eggs. Here we go. A little handful. Oh no! I don't want all of them. Oh, okay. I'll have them. For my breakfast. Yeah, I'm back. There we go. So, mmm, mmm, it's nice. Onwards. Let's get to the Christmas. Oh, 
You probably want to know what David's got in his advent calendar. This is probably the more exciting one, isn't it? You'll have to ring our niece in a minute because she loves. She's got the same advent calendar as David, and she loves saying to him. Oh yeah, should I do it with her? Yeah, let's ring her. Yeah, you? but this is my favourite advent calendar. We are in the car on the way to the train <coughs> station to go to the oh, Christmas God. festival. It's just started raining. <laughs> I mean, we did sort of semi expect rain, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's going to be bad. The stage is covered. We, we're in like a little chat group, and quite a lot of people have been dropping out. So it might mean that we're all on the stage, which is good if we are. I've got an umbrella. I've got my waterproof coat. Yeah, we're, we're fully protected. I've got a waterproof hat. I couldn't be more protected and hopefully, I mean it says 50% of rain, hopefully by then it will have stopped. <coughs> yeah, hopefully. It's just, imagine if we're just like performing to no one. I know, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Which is what you would be doing if it's like, if no one's there. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, we're going. Good on us for going. Yeah, <laughs> we're, prob we're probably coming from the furthest. Yeah, we definitely are coming from the furthest, so yeah. But we'll show you some of the atmosphere because we haven't. Uh, the only thing I've had for breakfast is those pretzels. Oh yeah, I've so we should had eat a dairy milk thing slab. So we'll maybe um, get something yeah. from the Christmas market to eat as well, which yeah, would be nice. Because it probably won't be as busy when we went last year. Oh my God, it was so busy. So it probably won't be as busy. But who knows how much we have to film when I'm holding an umbrella in this as well. <laughs> a quiet day we popped in to see my sister on the way back and uh, yeah it was nice wasn't it David it was great. how did you feel your performance went yeah, it was good obviously I couldn't get much of the actual performance so I filmed a little bit of our choir leader leading us and um, of the crowd and of us while we were singing but yeah um, I really enjoyed it but that means no more choir until January we haven't got any choir at all in December um, which is a nice break, but I will miss it because it's lovely. Although I'm seeing my choir friend on Friday, so that'll be nice. David's coming too. Um, so yeah, so then we went back, got some, um, went, David went and got a breakfast. I got some chestnuts and then popped to my sisters on the way back and now we're here. And now I've, I've sort of had a bit of a moment where I've been like, oh yeah, it's because I don't have to now leave the house until Tuesday. And that sort of thing really excites me. <laughs> like, I think people look forward to like leaving the house and going out and stuff. And I am not that person. That's the washing on spin if you're wondering what's going on. So yeah, I think um, for the rest of the evening, I am going to edit the sandwiches uh, video, the sandwich taste testing video, which I, will, I was just about to do it, but it's on the camera. Um, and then um, a bar? David, do you think? Yeah. A bath. David, are you going to do dinner? I'm, I, I won't be able to do it on my own. I've not got the energy. It'll have to be a joint effort. A joint effort done jointly? Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, just I'm chilling not out. Got the energy. He's not got the energy. He does take it out with the old singing. I feel like I've got like all red cheeks. Um, and it was wet and rainy and the crowd were amazing because they stayed there despite it being wet and rainy. Um, so yeah, 
you stay for dinner <clears throat> but i think i'll call it a night and say i'll see you on monday say night david night hello happy monday it's a nice monday today <laughs> not that other mondays aren't nice but it's a lovely monday because my last day of annual leave before I'm back in the office. I always take a little bit of annual leave off towards the end of November and the beginning of December because it's my birthday and I like to get things ready for Vlogmas. Um, so today is my last day and the order of the day, hibernation. <laughs> hibernation is the order of the day. I don't even really want to get out of my pajamas. <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna stay warm. I'm gonna stay rested. Um, Hibernation, I think, can include a little bit of nesting. So I'm going to do like a load of washing, um, maybe have a little tidy up. I've got a big pile of clothes next to my bed in, on my floor drobe. Floor drobe! Um, so I think I'm going to put that away as well. The only thing I have to do excitingly today is that I'm interviewing the actor who plays Emma in The Archers um, on the Archers podcast that I'm involved in called All About The Archers. All the details will be linked down below if you'd like to go and check that out. Um, that's at half past one. And I don't even think I need to get dressed for that because I've got a lovely, lovely Archers hoodie that I can just pop on over my, um, over my pyjamas. So I'll be doing that at half past one. But apart from that, the day is my oyster. I'd quite like, I don't know if getting this finished is a bit of a big ask, but this is due back at the library this week. Um, so whether or not I'll get this finished today, I mean, I really could just sit and read, um, which is what I might do. And then I want to have a shower and wash my hair tonight so that I'm all ready for work tomorrow. So yeah, that's the order of the day. I think it'll be quite nice. We've had quite a busy weekend with choir stuff. So it'll be quite nice just to sort of hibernate for the day. I've also got to trim Daphne's claws. Minnie's never done this before. Minnie never did this. But twice now, Daphne has got one claw from one paw stuck on another claw from another uh, paw. Just now, she's just done the two front paws. And David said this morning she did the front paw and the back paw, <laughs> which I've never seen before ever. So um, it was always very, very hard work to trim Minnie's claws. But Daphne, when we took her to the vets, she literally just went and let the vets do it. So I'm hoping she will let me do it. So I've got these, the, cl the, uh, the clippers out ready to get her at some point, get her. Um, but yeah, hopefully she'll be very well behaved. Is she out again, David? Yeah, she's playing now. Should we try and do it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Hello, baby. You just do your pawpaws. Do your claw claw pawpaws. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. One. Very good. Oh, Two. Oh, you're such a good girl. This is so good. Oh, my God, this is crazy. Three. Oh, this is a long one. Whoa. Maybe. Four. Well we need to done. do that. It's okay. It's okay. it's okay. You're being such a good girl. You're being really good. This is. There we go. Mwah. Right, next paw. Next paw, baby. Look, are you holding it? Next paw. Come on. Come on, you're doing really well. You can well have a treat done. After this. You can have a treat after this. This is. I can't believe this. Oh my god. This is the best. Last one. Oh no, it's not the last one. You've got a little thumb, haven't you? Oh, have you got a thumb? Yeah, all oh, the thumb needs doing the thumb. Well very, done, very baby. Sharp. Do you want to do some back paws as well? Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to do the back ones now. You are such a good girl. Oh my god, this is, this is crazy. Well done, Bob. Do you have a back? No, you don't have a oh, crap, Some of these long ones. You're you just, are such a good girl. You're just letting us do it. It's not fun, is it? But it'll be done. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, we're both in absolute disbelief because <laughs> when we used to do Minnie's paws, claws, we used to absolutely have to get ourselves really psyched up. Honestly, I'd be driving home from work thinking, I'm going to do one of Minnie's claws tonight. And I used to do one. One, yeah, one a night <laughs> because she used to get so stressed out we used to have to cover her with a towel 
get a little pour out and then I'd manage one um, and I never even got a look in with the back ones did I David no so I'd only ever do the front ones but yeah That's what sweet. a good little girl well done baby he's got one more little bit and David's just giving her a little tweet now so yeah That's I think I'm going to settle down in bed for a little bit longer well need all wrapped up oh god it's lovely to be in bed isn't it and yeah enjoy it. I'm going to hoover there so we can get them yeah. all up Lucy she wants more tweet. Yeah. Look at this little gorgeous. Debbie. Hello, pretty girl. <laughs> Hello, pretty girl. <laughs> You're so cute. You're a lovely girl, aren't you? You're so nice. I love you. Daphne. <laughs> Beautiful girl. <gasps> Hello. Merry Christmas. I've brushed my hair and put me all about the Archer's hoodie on, even though I've got an hour and a half until the interview even starts. I was going to edit one of my videos, um, but... If it's not done, this is all wet still. It needs to go on the radiator or the heated air or something. Um, if it's not edited in time, excuse me, um, or hasn't finished loading in time, then I won't be able to do the interview because background information, the, pro uh, the program that we use to record the, um, the podcast, the video, uh, requires nothing else to be running. So I think I'll probably leave that um, and I'll just get prepped. So I'll, we've got some listener questions. I've got some questions that I want to ask and I just want to write it all down. And I think I'll just have a little tidy up in here. I put some washing on earlier today. Um, so that was quite nice. Just need to make a note of it because I've been using this sweepy app. I'm sure you've seen, heard me talk about it. Um, and I'd been, I'd done a 113 day sh um, streak and then I didn't do any cleaning because it's just been birthday and busy and choir and all sorts. And my streak run out. So I need to get back onto my streak. All right, Debbie. Um, but yeah, I think I'll start by having a little tidy up in here, get my notebook out. The special notebook that I use for all about the archers, which I can't find now. Where was it? Where was it? Can't find it at all. Um, and just get prepped for the interview and then for the rest of the day I've still got editing I should really film a video that's the thing about these hibernation days isn't it hibernation days I've just invented that about these days we think oh, I've got nothing to do all I'm going to do is read um uh that things come up don't they so you've, you realize that you have got stuff to do um I'm still reading this. I've been reading it a little bit more, so I'm about halfway through. I'm not loving it. I'm going to carry on with it because it's an easy read. I don't feel like it's written particularly well. Sometimes I'll read a whole paragraph and I'll be like, what's just happened? And I have to go back. Like, I don't feel like character names are mentioned enough so you know who's talking. There's also quite a lot of characters. We've just been introduced to another bunch of four characters. Um, there's a character in here, as is the way sometimes with women's contemporary fiction, where sort of like her whole personality is dieting. Um, so that's very disappointing. But yeah, I'm not loving it, but I will continue um, and see how I get on. But for now, I'm going to go and put these on the heated era. I, I think the washing's just finished. I need to put that on spin. I'm going to tidy up a bit in here because it's just a little bit stuff on the sofa and things like that. And, uh, yeah, then I think I'll be in a position to get on with the day. And also, got to find my, got to find my little notebook, haven't I? With all my All About the Archer stuff. I've become one of those people who is getting lines in there. <laughs> I mean, I haven't managed it over here, <laughs> but um, yeah, look, that's Instagram worthy, isn't it? Hey Debbie, found my notebook, going to sit down and write some questions now. 
got to say I'm absolutely thrilled with the new sofa um, it's taking David a little bit more time bonding with it but Daphne <laughs> she hasn't tried scratching it once and then somebody commented saying that apparently cats love velvet so she's been very very cozy oh, what's she doing now what are you doing over there um, but yeah absolutely in love with it it's really like up high I feel like I've really got a little nook here Dave and I are both into this nook but it's got my reading light here which means that when I do my cross stitch um, it's ideal to sit here because then I can have the the light on bright you could definitely just look at it with a bit going oh yeah like that are you coming Daphne you're being very cute right on to notes for all about the archers all about the archers bonus with Emma slash Emerald. Emerald is a lovely name, isn't it? Oh, that was so such good fun. I loved it. I mean, I love being part of the podcast anyway, but the the um, the cast interviews we've been doing, they're so good because it just makes you um, it makes you really love that character. So like I've now done three. So I've interviewed um, uh, the actor who plays Stella Adam and now Emma and every time you've done one of those interviews you're like well that's my new favorite character <laughs> so yeah so I've come out feeling massively in love with the character of Emma Grundy from The Archers as I said I'll link all of the um, the deal down below there's a YouTube channel you can go and subscribe to if you listen to The Archers uh, where we put up the the, um, the video recordings of the podcast but it's a podcast as well but anyway I'm about to make lunch now because David's going to the cinema tonight he's going to watch two films at the cinema tonight um, so we're going to have lunch for dinner, although it's half past two, um, and then I think I'm gonna have mushroom soup for dinner tonight. Um, so, we are going to have, from Gusto, a creamy plant base sun-dried tomato gnocchi. It only takes 10 minutes, so I'm absolutely delighted about it. Um, if you would like to use uh, Gusto, I highly recommend it. This is what we've got this month, uh, this week. Creamy plant-based sun-dried tomato gnocchi, mushroom soup with garlic bread, creamy mushroom pie with balsamic roasted sprouts. We're both very excited about that one. And curried paneer and Bombay potato tray bake with masala sauce. Um, you can use my reference code, which I always link down below, but I'll link down below now. And the, 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 it's a very good deal at the moment. So I get 20 quid and you get 65% off your first box and 20% off the first two months which is a really, really good deal. And yeah, you'd also get all the sort of like Christmassy bits as well because they're starting to bring out slightly Christmassy things. That's why we've got the crispy mushroom pie with balsamic roasted sprouts because sprouts equals Christmas. But yeah, I'm gonna make this now, crispy plant-based sun-dried tomato gnocchi. And then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm excited about it. I could not see his expression. It smells delicious. Perfect. Bye. Right, well, I think I found my position for the rest of the day. I first of all got to edit the oh, All About the Archers episode I just filmed. The old uh, heated air is up and ready. I've got my hot water bottle because I've got a tummy ache, back ache, groin ache, all sorts of aches. Um, and yeah, so I've got two videos to edit. So I shan't be moving from here for the foreseeable. It's only three o'clock, but I think I'm gonna wrap the old vlog up there for today. Um, because yeah, I'm literally gonna be editing all afternoon uh, into the evening and then washing my hair. That was Daphne. So yeah, so I'll see you a bit later on in the week when I'm back at work. Bye. <laughs> I'm home from work. David, welcome home from work. Welcome home. Oh, my birthday's work. over. All of my cards have come down. I mean, it has been yes over a week. No I suppose. time. No birthday is over. Birthday's over. That's the end of that. Yeah. Oh, where's my nice gloves? Hmm. Hope they're somewhere safe. What your bookworm ones? Yeah, I had them on today. Did you have left them at work? I don't know. Anyway, I'm home from work. It's Wednesday. We've bypassed Tuesday. Not much happened on Tuesday apart from went to work and then recorded the All About the Archers podcast. But we're back in on Wednesday. Not much has happened on Wednesday. Been at work. Now I'm home. Um, my plans for the evening. Nothing on telly, is there, David? 
No, I was thinking we could watch a Christmas movie tonight. Oh yeah, okay, well I've also got another idea as well. We can do that too. But I would like to go and get straight in the bath. Yeah. And then when I come out, you get in the bath. And I was, I was thinking I might film a quiet read with me for an hour. So I think okay. I might do 20 minutes in, in bed. Bath. No. Oh. 20 minutes on this chair, 20 minutes on the sofa, each with Christmassy pyjamas on, maybe a bit of my favourite Plinky Plonky playlist in the background. Plinky Plonky playlist. Um, and yeah, and I was thinking maybe I'll, I'll do that um, whilst you're in the bath. Right. Um, and then that's my video for Friday. So yeah, I mean, this is going up Sunday, so that might already have happened or not, who knows. But I think I'll go and do that. I'm a bit concerned about my gloves, David. I really thought they were in my pocket. I'll have to ask my colleagues to look for them tomorrow and keep them safe. Um, well, that's a shame because I wanted to wear them on, for, on Saturday. Unless they are here. I can have a look in my bag. Look, don't worry about my gloves. Um, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to do that. And then once I've filmed that, I can make dinner and watch a Christmas film with my husband and beloved. Yeah? How does that sound? Yes. I think that sounds so like He's just idea. doing the washing like a good boy. Lovely idea. <laughs> he's doing the washing like a good boy. <laughs> like a good boy. Um, yeah, so maybe, I mean, I might even finish a book if I'm doing about three, oh god, she's taking her earrings out ready for the bath already, if I'm doing over an hour's worth of reading, because I would like to finish my Christmas book, I'm not loving it, and then I can start on something else new that hopefully I am loving. So yeah, I think, oh, that washing smells lovely, what have you washed it with? The... What, the love one? Uh, do, day night, one. oh my god, it's gorgeous. We've got new washing. Oh my god! So nice, doesn't it? It smells amazing! We've got new washing um, liquid from somewhere called Tallow and Ash, which are cruelty free and vegan. But they specialise in like scents. David and I are very scenty people, aren't we? We, we both are like very a lovely scent. Um, and yes, they're a little bit more expensive than you might expect, or you might. Well, actually, I don't know that they are. How much were they? Can you remember? It's twenty one ninety nine for two bottles, and you get about twenty washes out of those, maybe, maybe a bit less than. No, it might be twenty four washes. I think it says twenty four washes. Plus, you get I mean, loads and loads I of the little that, sachets. That, uh, I mean, so, it's definitely more expensive. But it I is more expensive. Yeah, I don't think it's like expensive. loads more expensive. No. But I'll link them down below and I'll show you the bottle. But we've just, well, I'll show you now because while we're hyping it, I may as well show you now. So. They're called Tallow and Ash. These are the ones, this is Oud, so I've already been using this. How many washes? 24 washes, yeah, and it's 21.99 for one each of those. So already that's less than a pound of wash. Plus you get a big one of these, which has lots and lots of samples in, so you can test the ones that you want. But the one that they didn't have a sample of, which I went on a bit of a wing and a prayer, was this one called Date Night which apparently smells like a Tom Ford perfume. Now, David's got a Tom Ford aftershave that I bought him as a wedding present last year. God, it smells so nice. It says it's got top notes of cherry liquor and almond, mid notes of Turkish rose and sandback jasmine, and a base of vanilla woods and patchouli. So yeah, very nice, but he's gone straight in. Even I said, well, I weren't gonna use those until these are finished, but yeah. So there we go. I just tripped myself to them. Um, yeah. I'll leave them down below if you're into your scents as well. I'm so delighted with, by the way, what I did on the last vlog was sort out under the, under here. I mean, look at this. Look how great that looks in there. So well organised. It's so easy to get to stuff now. I'm so pleased with it. But now, I think I'll go and get in the bath. I'm getting my pyjamas and get ready for the night. Then once I've recorded that quiet reading vlog, which I think is quite a nice idea, something I haven't done before, ever, let alone a vlog mess, I'll cook dinner and David and I can watch a Christmas film. Yeah! Look at all those socks. Is that where you keep your socks? Mm. Is that where you yeah. keep your socks? There's an advent calendar present in here. Oh, is this how we're doing it now? Yeah, we've got I a like special it. bag that we put in. A special advent calendar bag like for my it. advent calendar boy. I like it. Whoa, I've been looking, I was hoping you'd get me these. <laughs> I didn't know which one to get you, those ones or the other ones, but I went for the trusted salted caramel. And white chocolate. Montezuma's. Ooh. Yeah, do you like white chocolate? Yeah. 
I love white chocolate. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I didn't think you did. I don't really like it, it makes me feel a bit thirsty. So there we go. Lovely, thank you. Montezuma. I don't know Snowball, what they are, but they just look delicious. Salted caramel, white. And now for the bacon. Chocolate. Shall I put them on your sweetie table? Please. On they go. Thank you, Bub Bub. On the sweetie table, and also I'll turn the little lights on to make it look festive. I've um, I've cut my thumb. Again? No, I cut my thumb chopping broccoli the other night, and it's this has really upset people, and I've used this word flappy at the top and it's really painful and I've exacerbated I think by doing the cross stitch because I keep catching it on the cross stitch but I am determined to get halfway through the cross stitch tonight right shall I go and make dinner <gasps> there's a little tap tap there's a tap tap Debbie I'll make dinner and then what Christmas film do you want to watch I was thinking maybe the night before <laughs> I do like the night before a lot. Did but, you see on my holy jeans. But I was thinking nativities. Oh, okay. Let's watch yeah. Christmas, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't mind watch Christmas when we what we watch. I feel like we should watch one. Yeah, I'd like to watch the nativity. All right. Yeah, we do like with Mr. Poppy. That's a picture of me and Mr. Poppy. <laughs> what that? I do like it. Sparkle and shine. Yeah. yeah, so I'll go and make dinner and then we can start watching it over there. Maybe you could put that in your study. Are you working from home tomorrow or are you in the office? No, I'm working from home tomorrow. Oh, I'm just yeah. in on Friday because I'm shooting. Would you mind popping that in the office? I can pop it in the office. Mr. Poppy in the office. Do you think you'll like Mr. Poppy? Yeah. Do you like this as an idea? Well, it's a blanket, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute and I love you so much. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's a great idea because we're just... It saves us wrapping things up, and I think it's nice. Yeah. It just means we're not hanging it up, but it's not in, on show anyway, is no, it? No, it's not on show anymore, so... Yeah. so I think from now on... What, we'll what's, just... what's the point if it's not on we'll show for it. the so, public? Uh, so whoever it's doing next, so I'll put this on top of your bag. I'm so well organised. Right, let's go yeah. make dinner. I like it. So here we go. Tonight's dinner... Cur oh, David. Tonight? I forgot what it was. Curried potato paneer and Bombay potato tray bake with masala oh. sauce, and that looks like spring greens. It is spring greens. These are like some of our favourite things. If you, here, if, if you want to use up... The only thing I will do is I'll swap out the curry powder for our curry powder. Good shout. David found, good shout. finds the curry powder provided by Good Show. It is spicy. A bit spicy. I don't think it's that spicy, but David, I think, has a yeah, lesser tolerance than I do to that sort of thing. Black mustard seed. Yeah. I'm going to cook this. And listen to, shall I listen to, shall I carry on listening to her Gilles Poirot's Silent Night. Bonjour, mon chat. You are beautiful. C'est belle chat. Did I say no? What are you talking about? I was saying she's a beautiful cat. Oh. Does Belle mean beautiful? Maybe. Right, I'm going to listen to this. He's Belgian anyway, so. It smells lovely. It doesn't look so lovely, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I could have done a little bit of a better job with the presentation. But here it is. It looks revolting. But it smells delicious. Aya! <laughs> Just eating some twiglet. It's Thursday. Love twiglet. From Twiglet straight, I'm just straightening my hair. It's Thursday night. Oh, shit. It's ten past six. I need to get a wiggle on. Because I'm taking myself out tonight. I'm going to the cinema theatre. So our local cinema um, does national theatre live performances, which is lovely because I can't be bothered to travel all the way to London <laughs> to watch and uh, pay god knows how much on the train etc etc and also it means i get to see things that i've wanted to see for a really long time so tonight i'm going to watch the book of dust the national theatre performance which i think was on at the, the cinema at the theatre years ago um and when i found out that it had been and gone i was devastated and then i saw on the back of one of the toilet doors i think in this cinema that um 
in the cinema that I'm going to tonight that it was a National Theatre Live and I've been literally waiting for it to come on because I knew I would desperately go want to go and see it. So I'm taking myself there tonight, just brushing my hair um, and I'm going to have a pizza. That's another thing I like to do in the cinema, have a pizza in the cinema. And yeah, I'm treating myself to a little solo date night to the theatre cinema and I'm really excited. It's long. <laughs> It's like almost three hours. Um, but I think I'm gonna really like it. I quite liked The Book of Dust. I know many didn't. Um, but I quite liked the sort of uh, adventureness of it. If people don't know what The Book of Dust is. So His Dark Materials um, is a series of books written by Philip Pullman. Um, you'll know them. Uh, Northern Lights. Subtle Knife and Amp Spyglass. And then he's also written another trilogy, although God knows what's happened to the third one because we've been waiting on that. I'm gonna have to wash my hands because I've got um, <laughs> uh, twiglets on. We've been waiting for the third one in the Book of Dust series for ages. And I think it was supposed to come out, I'm sure it was during lockdown and it still hasn't happened. It's called something about the roses. But yeah, so this is the first book in that series. And um, I'm looking forward to finding out about it. So I'm going to go to the cinema. I'll let you know how I get on. I've got to get ready fast. All right, bye. Phew. Hello. I had an amazing time at the cinema theatre. It was so good. I mean, I hoped it would be good. Um, David. That's not very Christmassy, is it? Um, but it absolutely exceeded my expectations. Just getting my pyjamas out for tonight. Um, it was amazing. So it, it is in the, um, the His Dark Materials multiverse, let's say, so David can understand oh, what I'm talking about. Tell me that. <laughs> and um, the demons are done amazingly. So they're all made out of sort of like this white paper type material, um, but all of their heads light up and uh, they have um, puppeteers that are moving the bigger ones and the main ones and uh, then little sort of like ones that are controlled by the actors and yeah the people that played like the main cast were all amazing there was an actual baby playing Lyra and she was just the cutest calmest little baby ever um and yeah it was just an absolute delight I really really loved it forgot how absolutely terrifying though um I was going to say Hugh Bonneville is, but what's his name? Gerard Bonneville. Is that his? It's not Hugh Bonneville. Um, but yeah, oh my God. That hyena demon is scary. They didn't even go like as dark as they did in the book as well. Really made me want to reread the book because I've only read physically the book once. And then since then when I've reread it, and I think I've only ever done it the once because I think I reread it ahead of the second book of Dust coming out. I listened to the audiobook, which is done by Martin Sheen and it's very well done. So I feel like maybe I need to revisit those. Just unpoppering my body. Um, so yeah, it was lovely. And now I'm home and it's 25 to 11 and David's got to be up very early tomorrow because he's going into London. So we're having a sort of, yeah, I'm putting my pajamas on. Oh, no. But you can't, you can't see lower half on here so I can get fully bum out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I won't be vlogging at all tomorrow because it's a, because it's a Friday reading vlog, so that will be going up, so I guess I'll see you again on Saturday when I'm going on a bloody old zip wire, aren't I? Oh. We're going out for lunch and we're going to do a bit of shopping, but yeah. Cool, alright then, well I'll see you on Saturday, God. see you then, say bye David. Right. Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, the last day of the week two vlog. Today's quite an exciting day. It's although the perfect weather for zip lining. I'm going zip lining today with my friend Ryan. So I bought my friend Ryan and his partner zip lining experience for their Birthdays. birthdays year before last because they've had a baby since yeah. then. And this year, when they went to book it in, Amy was like, I don't think I can do this, I'm too frightened. Does anyone else want to do it? And I was like, look how much water is on my glasses. I was like, yeah, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Not thinking it was that bad thing. But every time I've said to somebody, I'm going zip lining at Blue Water, they're like, oh. <laughs> so 
so isn't it second to the one in Wales? I think like it the is, yeah. And I read this morning you get up to 50 miles an hour, which is just insane. So we're doing that today, but it is absolutely <laughs> shitting it down, it down outside. Yeah. So what fun to be out and zip lining when it's this, and I haven't even got a hat, David, let alone oh, I should have bought my waterproof. Yeah. I was just like, I'll be fine in this. Do you want to go back and get it? I mean, it's probably sensible, isn't it? Do you think? I can't take an umbrella down with me, can I? <laughs> like Mary Poppins coming down. <laughs> Look how much water is on my glasses. Yeah, we'll turn around. Let's yeah, go get it. Yeah, we'll go back soaked. and uh, and get it. Um, you can go up the next one on the yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I'm looking forward to it. We're also going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, get out for lunch with our friends. So it'll be a lovely day. Um, but yeah, the last day of the vlog. Welcome. Oh, there you go. Good luck. Give me a big scream when you're coming down. Yeah, I can see a red. Yeah. Back. <laughs> Here they come! Here they come! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Look at that posture! We couldn't wave at you because we had to we keep had our to arms to the side. Oh, okay. But it was really good. Everyone had different arm instructions. Yeah, oh, so we really? had to do yeah. that. We were both the same, we're luckily, the same. because I think I would have yeah. been confused. So you have to do this when you get out, and then when you get to the water, put your arms by your yeah. side. But then there's something that slows you down, like down there. And it's, they're like, oh, it's a small jolt. And it wasn't. It was a really no. big jolt. And both of our arms went, look! <laughs> <laughs> but it was very good. Oh. oh my god, what a day! It was really fun. I felt very adrenalised afterwards. It was really fun. And then we went, did a bit of Christmas shopping, which was very nice. I spent my voucher from last year. Um, I think David's nan got it for me for my birthday last year. I got a love to shop voucher. And one of the uh, places you could spend it was in John Lewis. And I bought this neon, I've already got a neon candle. This is called Cozy Nights. Um, the one I've got over there, I can't remember what that one's called. But yeah, so it's a £15 voucher and that was £17. So I bought myself a neon candle for £2.10. Um, and it's lovely, it's very smoky and it like smells a bit like a wood smoker, which is very nice. So yeah, so now I'm just editing Fridays, that's today's, the, the festive Friday reading vlog, which is going up shortly. And then I'm gonna edit this vlog. So I'm gonna sign off now and say, 
thanks so much for watching the week um yeah there's still much more vlogmas to come um i've got some slots as well some holes in vlogmas uh, coming up so if you've got anything that you would like um me to do then let me know i will say now monday the 18th of december i'm going to be doing a christmas quiz um i'll be doing it live so there won't be a video going live in the morning there'll be a christmas quiz that evening um probably at half six let's keep it at half six um and there'll be a christmas quiz and you can sort of quiz along with me i'll be answering the questions and you write down your things and then we'll mark it all and etc etc so yeah date for your diary christmas vlogmas quiz and yeah i put no, uh, yeah for six let's say 6 30 6 30 on monday the 18th of december looking forward to it looking forward to it so yeah i'm gonna go and edit all of this now just checking what i actually had scheduled for that day live sorted nothing nothing was scheduled for that day um so yeah i'll see you all tomorrow for another vlogmas video uh, which i think is going to be a christmas clean and uh yeah happy vlogmas bye